Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. And all I can say is, the fight goes on. If you saw my last video, you'll understand why I got very upset when I was making that one. Um, and then I'm going to go and make this video. And this one gets me angry because it's precisely this sort of thing that leads to the sort of thing that happened in the last video. Um, and we should not be standing for this. This is awful. We're, we are degenerate if we're allowing this. We are. I'm as guilty as you are guilty as we are all guilty. Not because we are doing these things, but because we're standing silent and allowing these things to happen. We need to take direct action. We are many, they are few. And when you see this sort of thing coming up, organise, organise people, go on, form groups and go and fight it. Now I'm going to look at this story um, and it's how trans activists and Trojan horses as they're known, the drag queens, are pushing themselves in to children's areas, into schools. They're pushing this degenerate ideology of perversion and paraphilia. And we all know that an awful lot of these drag acts of these um, trans lobbyists, this sort of thing, they all really, really want to get close to children. And we all know fully why they want to get close to children, because they're all obsessed with children. We're going to have a look at this. And we're going to discuss the sort of things that go on. And let me tell you, I will be, unless you're aware of it, I will be introducing you to a concept that will be so awful. I'm not even going to use words. Well, I'm going to use words. I'm not even going to use anything like the words. I'm just going to describe something and, boy, you're going to have to use your imagination. Anyway, here goes. So how drag queens became a Trojan horse to promote militant trans ideology to children and why parents who say that the lewd shows that can feature bondage gear and tassels aren't suitable for youngsters are then derided as bigots. So you want to protect your children from people who do these things, who dress like this, who promote this kind of thing. And then you're the bigot for wanting to protect your children. No. You can call me what you like. If that was my child, now my child's 31. But if that was my child or my grandchild or my niece, my nephew. Let me tell you, you wouldn't have a chance to be calling me a bigot. Because the moment you opened your mouth to say anything to me, it would be filled with my fist. But we'll get in. Clad in high thigh rubber boots with six inch heels and a tiny skin tight skirt, drag queen Copper Top is an enthusiastic performer on a drag circuit. Recent footage of her act, it's his act. His act, taken at the Honor Oak pub in Lewisham, South East London, shows a lively audience whooping their approval as Copper gyrates provocatively on the floor before hitching his skirt to the waist and thrusting his crotch back and forth. Not everyone is thrilled by the spectacle, however. In one corner of the makeshift stage, a small girl, no more than three, looks on with what can only be described as puzzlement. And you might wonder, of course, why the baffled looking toddler is there at all. Wasn't it past her bedtime? Far from it. This was a family friendly drag show hosted at 11 a.m. on a Saturday morning. A time when many parents can be usually found shivering in the local playground. What an absolute start. So that, that sits there with children, thrusting his crotch at children. There's a word for what that is. That is a P. That is undoubtedly a P. Someone who dresses provocatively and gyrates their crotch towards children straight away needs to be taken out no, just needs to be taken out. And there's the pub. Now, there's uh, a, these people outside um, are protesting it. Um, and thank heavens. 
Uh, there was a, a pro-LGB and a counter-LGB protest at the same time. And people who objected to this, people who objected to grown men getting close to children and gyrating their crotches at them, were called bigots. Anyone, anyone who called anyone a bigot for that needs to be thoroughly investigated because they are an absolute danger to children. Now, I'm going to have to warn you right now because I'm going to have to do a description. Copper top, the name, while commonly slang for a person with red hair, also ref refers to a lewd act. Um, and it was performing at a bottomless drag brunch. Well, when you talk about bottomless, you mean you were wearing nothing underneath? I don't know. It's hard to say. Now, I want you to imagine that you don't know what copper top is. Well, let me explain. Imagine a man owns a tub of Nutella. So imagine the man unscrews the top of that Nutella and turns it upside down and stands in front of it. Imagining. Imagine a woman who likes Nutella gets up and decides that she's going to start licking at the Nutella in that jar of Nutella. And the man, being very generous with his Nutella, decides that he's going to push the Nutella out straight out of that jar, straight into the woman's mouth. So she's got like a mouthful of Nutella now. Very delicious, chocolatey, nutty Nutella in her mouth. And he decides that he's going to turn around very quickly and he's going to peel his banana and put the banana into her open mouth. So that when he takes it out, it's got this brown coating. It's known as a copper top. Only we're not talking Nutella, are we? And we're not talking bananas. Yeah, well, we'll leave that one alone. But that is what that man calls himself. And it's presumably what that man likes to do. Anyway, for £25 a ticket, punters can treat themselves to an unending supply of Prosecco cocktails, Bloody Marys and a slice of innuendo-laden entertainment. And there's no shortage of demand. All manner of families with young children had gathered at Honor Oak for Copper Top's most recent performance at the end of February. I will say that not only do the people who object to this have a right to object, and to anyone who calls them bigots needs to be investigated, I would suggest that every single parent in that location that brought a child there needs to have that child removed from their care, put into local authority care, and then those parents also thoroughly investigated and put on a register. Because if you're taking children to that kind of act, you're taking three-year-olds to that kind of act, where, like I say, a grown man dresses in his paraphiliac-obsessed, you know, sexually provocative clothing and gesticulates with his hips and crotch straight towards children. And if you're a parent and seeing that and not seeing what that actually is, then you're part of the problem. These people need all to be arrested and prosecuted. And deeply, severely, not just a slap on the wrist, we're talking serious time in prison, lifetime on a register, and never allowed within 300 yards of children again. And I include the parents. This is why we have problems. When this shit is allowed to happen. And the moment anyone complains, they're labelled bigots and phobes. Well, they're not bigots and phobes. They're ordinary, decent people with ordinary decent lives who do not want to see degenerate scum abusing young people like this. It is disgusting. It is, I, I'm sorry, I'm just getting really, really angry. Oh, there's a lot more. There's a lot more. All these people, all of these, go in and do all these things in schools and in libraries with children. If, look, and there, there. This is this is what that one does. He dresses like this so he can get in and close with children and introduce them to concepts and to very much more. Well, let's just say completely inappropriate language and descriptions right. of actions. He needs to be arrested. He needs to be thoroughly investigated. They all do, and anyone bringing a child to that needs to be 
well have that child removed I, i'm just not even going to get into it anymore it's just upsetting me again what is it with these people though what is it with these people anyway coming up it is time we made a stance every time we see these people wanting to get close to children we must stop we must talk to them we must tell them that we know what they are we know that they're peas we know that they do not do this because they want to help children they just want to get close to children for their own gratification we must make these people aware that every time they do this we will not allow it now they go on about tolerance and acceptance but the one thing they're not is tolerant or accepting they are completely intolerant of people who do not share their weird warped perverted view on the way that children should be treated and we cannot allow this and we need to stop it and we have to ask so many times now i've done schools allowing this why are these schools allowing it it's because they're scared to say no well don't be scared to say no say no and say no we do not want your perversion in this school we do not want peas in this school if you want to dress like that fine do it in the privacy of your own house or do it in an adult location but we are not letting you and your proclivities anywhere near the children in our charge and nobody should allow children to be exposed to this level of danger this level of harm nobody is safeguarding the children while this is allowed to happen and it needs to stop thank you very much for listening and until next time please hit the subscribe button hit the like button share the video take care look after yourselves See you next time. Goodbye.